Hello everyone. I guess I should say good afternoon. It's one o'clock. Where is the day gone? I swear the day is just like, time doesn't exist when you have a newborn. It is Thursday, April 6th. Gray just got back from preschool a little bit ago and I guess they had a little Easter egg hunt today at preschool and it sounds like he had a lot of fun. I'll show you guys. He got to make his own Easter bag and decorate it. He put lots of stickers on it as you can see and wrote his name and he says he drew this all by himself which honestly is really impressive. That's a really good bunny. So I'm not sure if he got help or not. And then he found some eggs, I already put the eggs away, but he got some treats in his eggs and Porter was very jealous and wanted the candy for himself. <laughs> and looks like they put cute little like fake grass in it and stuff. So he had a great day. <coughs> did you have fun doing, catching Easter eggs? Yes. You did? And He just brushed his teeth. He found some video on YouTube Kids about brushing teeth and getting rid of cavities. And now every time he watches the video, he has to go and actually brush his teeth, which I guess there could be worse things. So he is doing good. And now he's done with preschool until Monday because he doesn't have school on Fridays and actually all the schools are out tomorrow because it's Good Friday and so a lot I think a lot of schools just take that off baby Avery is sleeping I'll show you guys she is passed out right here on the lounger she's so tired she was actually awake for a long time this morning it was so fun to be able to see her I'll input a snapchat video I took of her earlier Hi, Avery. Oh my goodness. Can you say hi? Oh, bless you. God bless you. Say, I'm one week old today. Oh, goodness. She's just so sweet. Last night was a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. She was up like every hour and then she wanted a party from like 5.30 to 7 this morning. So that was a little rough, but um, she's doing really good, eating, pooping a ton, sleeping a lot. So she does good. She's so chill. I hope, it, I hope, hope, hope it continues, knock on wood because like obviously I have two other kids in addition to her so I'll be holding her and then Porter's like I have to go BB or the kids need to make lunch or something and so I find that I have to put her down a lot to go and help with the other kids and every time she just is chill even if she's wide awake she's just looking around like in her own world like not complaining at all which is so super helpful to me because it would just make my life a little more chaotic <laughs> if I had a really needy baby. So it could change, but as of right now, she's doing really, really good. Today, she is actually one week old. So one week ago, actually one week ago now, I was in the hospital. They were starting like the folly balloon, like right now, cause it's like one o'clock. It's crazy to think a whole week has passed. Like where is the time gone? It's kind of sad, like oh, time is going so fast, but it's also like, feel good because it's like yes we have a week down we did it we're surviving we're excelling we can do this so good and bad it poured yesterday and so now it's freezing today it's so so cold so i don't think we're going to be able to go outside today anthony wants to go find a book so we might go to the bookstore i don't know if we want to take that on or not it's just hard because we're cooped up inside and it just makes the days go really really long so We'll see if we're up for that or not, but it's quiet time right now. I think I'm going to try and edit some vlogs. That's what I need to do. I'm just going to pick up the camera here and there whenever I want to talk to you guys or something. The next couple days are going to be a little crazy because we have Grayson's birthday party this weekend. And I kind of had a little bit of a panic attack last night because I'm realizing like, oh, I'm actually going to host a party 
with a newborn and just knowing like all the things that go into that so i just need to like clean a lot of stuff up and i think i'm just gonna try to be proactive and like start hanging decorations like tomorrow night because i usually just wait for the day before of but anthony's grandparents are coming in the morning and so i just feel like i'm not gonna have any time to get anything done so it's gonna be a little stressful bray has soccer a soccer game the morning of his party like his party's at four he has a soccer game at noon so it's just gonna be a little chaotic but he he's so excited for it and i want to have it for him so I ordered the Chick-fil-A, we're gonna have that. I've got chips here, I've got um, desserts, um, a cake. My mom's gonna pick up the cake and the Chick-fil-A. At least I don't have to worry about like picking up all the food because that usually is what takes up a lot of my time. So that at least I don't have to worry about. It's really just like getting the house ready. I told Anthony I wanna like put out our um, cushions on our patio furniture because I've had them in storage during the winter, but it's like from like starting on Saturday, it's just going to be warm. It needed to happen anyway because um, hopefully we'll be outside a lot more and do like some outside dinners or something. So we needed to get the patio cushions back out anyway. So it's just a good excuse to do it. So we need to do that. And then just like picking stuff up and clearing the counters. It just looks like, you know, we've had a newborn and that's okay. But I want the house to look a little bit presentable when everyone comes. Thankfully, it's like super low key. It's really just my family and like Anthony's grandparents coming and that's it. A lot of people couldn't come because it's like the day before Easter. Totally get it. And I've been telling everybody from the get go, like, I'm not putting a lot of effort into this. It's going to be very low key. Like, do not expect a lot. Just come and shower Grayson with attention because that's really what this is for. So I think everybody will be understanding if the house is looking a little disheveled. And then the next day after Gray's party is Easter. So it's just like boom, 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 lots of things going on this weekend. So at least that'll keep us busy and um, kind of break up the monotony of like every day, just kind of being like nothing. <laughs> so we're doing well, but we are about to gear up for a very big weekend, so hopefully we survive. How about T? And then you need a U. And a U. Say hi, boys. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Trying to find a U. Okay, look around for one. Oh no. Do you need help? Yes, I do need help. This eye is twisty turvy. Twisty turvy. Yes. So Grayson is working on the letter board this morning, and Porter is eating some of my breakfast that Daddy made for me. He made me some. Well, he made me a Monte Cristo, but then he also made me some bananas with peanut butter on top. And Porter thinks that's pretty yummy, huh? That's pretty yummy. Yeah. And we're doing the letter board for Gray's party. So Gray's spelling. Can we spell turning? Turning. So we're, you got to find a U. Hmm. So we're trying to find all the letters. Let's see. I got to find a U now. Um, but we're just getting ready because tomorrow, what's tomorrow, Gray? It's your birthday party tomorrow! So I'm trying to be as proactive as I possibly can. And we're going to see the Mario movie today. That's right. So today, Daddy is going to take Grayson. To and, the Mario movie. And they're going to go see the Mario movie. It just came out like two days ago. And Gray has been begging to go see it ever since he saw the commercial for it. So they're gonna go, they're gonna meet up with Allison. What's the commercial? On the TV. What's the commercial? It's like a preview of what the movie is. And uh, also my brother Philip and his wife Ellie are gonna go and my sister Kelly. They're all gonna go and watch the movie together. So, and I told Gray maybe daddy would get him a special treat at the beginning. Maybe some popcorn or some candy or something, huh? You can enjoy a treat. I'm gonna enjoy popcorn. 
So Anthony got up with the kids this morning so I could sleep in. Last night, like, it wasn't too bad. It was just she was up every two hours eating, and then she'd go right back to bed. You need an R. It wasn't too bad, but I'm definitely getting into, like, the sleep deprivation stage where, like, I nursed her last night. I put her down in the bassinet. I laid my head down, and then it, it was, like, immediately she started crying again, and I was like, oh... She must still be hungry. I guess I need to feed her some more. And then I looked at the clock and two hours had passed. But it literally felt like no time had passed at all. That's how I know the sleep deprivation is getting bad. I mean, we've been doing this a week of like very little sleep. So, I mean, it is what it is. You just got to get through it. But she's over here snoozing, Miss Avery. So she is just snoozing away on our lounger here. She's got this cutest little little sister outfit on and it's super, it's like fleece. And so it's super soft and cozy. And we lost one balloon, but we have one left. One still hanging on, so we'll see how long it lasts. Every day that passes, I get a little more stressed about this birthday party. I hope I'm not taking off more than I can chew. Anthony told me he would help me get ready, and I'm planning on doing a lot of the prep tonight. My mom's going to come over while Gray and Anthony go to the movies, so maybe I can get her to help me a little bit. So it's just kind of like putting things away, cleaning up. I'm going to do laundry today so we don't have to worry about that because this weekend is just going to be busy, busy, busy. We're doing good. I'll get out the camera here and there and vlog. Hi, Avery. Hi, Avery friends. We're just doing some seven to nine partying. She's got 30 more minutes and then she can go to bed, huh? We're wide awake today. Yesterday it was a struggle, but today we are awake. We're just hanging out. We've been walking. We've been doing some tummy time, which she does not like. We've been changing lots of diapers. Yes, niece? Nope. We've been playing. Anthony's parents got her this elephant, and it crinkles, and she likes it. What do you think about that? Yeah, so we're just kind of hanging out. Hopefully we can make it another 30 minutes. Look at her big belly. Still has the umbilical cord. Hasn't come off yet, huh? He said, her pediatrician said anywhere between one and three weeks. We got the letter board ready for the party tomorrow. We've got presents set up. I need to keep cleaning and putting things away. And I need to hang up decorations. Are you going to help me, Avery? Hopefully I can get it together. Can you say hi? Hey guys, so I'm just editing this video and I realized I never touched on how Grayson did at the Mario movie. He did awesome. He had so much fun. Anthony said the movie was a little long for him. I mean, he doesn't sit still and watch movies regularly, but my sister Allison said he like clapped when the good guys won and he didn't get too stressed when the bad guys were winning. Sometimes he can get a little affected by that. Anthony got him popcorn and a drink and all the fun stuff. I got a couple pictures, so I'll input that here of their time at the movies. Gray said it was awesome. He talks about the Mario movie every day. He expects me to know like what happened even though i still haven't seen the movie uh, i guess the movie's like breaking off his records it's doing really really good i swear like every time i go on instagram i see another person going to go see this movie so it's very popular uh, but great loved it and my siblings went with him and it was just fun to be able to like celebrate him you know a couple days early from his party and his birthday so he had a good time and i was so thankful that anthony could take him and i could stay back with avery and porter during nap time but anyway that's gonna be it for this vlog 
Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because next we're going to do Grayson's birthday party. So you're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.